Hello friends, this is the second video of the backtracking series and today we will learn the basic problem of the backtracking concept which is named n-queens. The n-queens puzzle is a problem of placing n-queens on a n times n chessboard so that no two queens attack each other. So basically that means we need to place n queens on this n times n board so that no two queens on the same column uh, and on the same row and on the same diagonal and the anti diagonal. So see this example we are given a uh, number four. So that means we need to place four queens on the four times four board. And this is the two possible arrangements. And the Q means we put a queen here, and the dot means this is an empty cell. So let's first see how do we put this queen without knowing the code. Well, we have the intuition that we can just put this queen row by row. So for the first row, we can put the queen on the second column because it does not anti any rows, rulers. There is no two queens on the same row and there are no two queens on the same column and the, there are no two queens on the same diagonals and the anti diagonals because this is the only queen on this board now. And then for the second row, we can we try to put a queen because this row already have a queen. We cannot put another queen. And in the second row, we try to put the queen. Uh, then we check column by column. We first try to put this queen on the first column, but it cannot work because that makes these two queens on the same column. So we check the next column. It cannot work either because that makes these two queens on the same anti diagonal. So that uh, then we will check the third column. Yes, we can put this queen here. This is valid. So then we put uh, the second queen. Okay, do not look at the code. So we put this queen here. Then we try to put the queen on the third row. And we check column by column too. We first try to put the queen here. It cannot work because that, that makes these two queens on the same column. Then we check the second, uh, you know, second uh, column. Uh, and it cannot work either because this may, makes these two queens on the same diagonal. And then we check this column. It cannot work because this makes these two queens on the same column. Then we check the uh, final column. It cannot work either because that makes these two queens on the same anti diagonal. So this row, we cannot put any queen. So we cannot uh, work anymore. So we should unchoose. You still remember these three steps choose, explore, unchoose. So uh, that means we have reached the end, we cannot put any queens, so we need to unchoose this cube. Uh, uh, you know, we reset this place as a dot. That means unchoose. So we unchoose. This is just the, you know, the we try to put the queen on the third row, but we cannot make it. So we try to put the queen on the, you know, this will be the final column yeah it works so we put the queen on the second row on the final column yeah we put it a queen then we try to put the queen on the third row we just do the same thing check the first column no cannot work put it on the second column yeah it works so we just put a queen there yeah, we put a queen. And then we try to put a queen on the uh, fourth, fourth row. This column cannot work. This column
column cannot work. This column cannot work because that makes these two queens on the same anti diagonal. This column cannot work because that make that makes these two queens on the same column. So we we reach the end again. We cannot put uh, any queen. So we should unchoose this q. Uh, this queen should not put here. This is a dead row, you know, dead road. So we unchoose this queen. We unchoose it. Okay, so that means, uh, the sec the queen put the under. You know, the second row it cannot uh, make a final arrangement, so we unchoose it. We just unchoose it. And that, make, uh, that means if we put the queen on the first column of this row, we cannot uh, get a valid arrangement. So we just uh, try another column. We put a queen on the second column. Yeah, we unchoose it and we put it on the second column. Yeah, we do the same thing. We try to put the queen on the second row and this place uh, this column cannot work the same diagonal. This column cannot work the same column. Uh, this column cannot work the same anti-diagonal. This column, yeah, it works. It's valid. So we put a queen on the second row, the final column. Then we try to put the queen on the third Call a third row. This place, yeah, it works. The first uh, column just works, so we put a queen there. Then we try to put the queen on the last uh, row. This column cannot work. This column cannot work. This column, yeah, it works. Nothing on the same diagonal and nothing on the same anti diagonal. So we just uh, get a valid arrangement. And how do we know this is a valid arrangement? Because if we try to put a queen on the next row, it just all of the bounder. So we know this is the end. So this should be the base case. So we just do the same thing to get another valid arrangement. We unchoose this queen and uh, unchoose this queen, unchoose this queen and put another place. So okay, now based on this idea, we try to use the concept of backtracking to write the code. At first, uh, you know, get the, write the result to list list. And uh, you can see the, we are only given a, a and the result is just a list of list string. So if we can quickly get the cell by their row index, column index, we can quickly change it to Q or dot. So we can use a you know two D array. So basically, we can use a you know two D array, and the size will be n times n. And we of course need to initial it. Because at first it just, uh, uh, I think it's zero. So we should initial it to put all of these cells to the adopt. And of course we need a help function. And finally we return this result. So basically this is the first function, which is the initial. Initialize. Uh, that is bold. So for every, um, yeah, zero, I less than board dot length, I plus plus arrays fail this board, I to the dot. Okay, this is the board. And so now let's try to write this help function. We need uh, this board, and we also need uh, this result string, this. And we also need uh, the row index. We still remember that we actually put the queen row by row. So we need this row index. 
So obviously, if the row index equals to the Bordeaux length, it reaches the end. So we can result add the, we will change this bold to a list of string. So we can call it generate. We put it a bold here, and we return. This is the base case. So how about the recursive case? Uh, you, you know that for every row, we check column by column. So actually, this is column index start from zero, and the column index less than the board dot length, and the column index plus plus. So if it is valid, we will check whether it will against any row uh, rulers. So if it is valid, the row index, column index, we will put this place as a queen, right? We place a queen here. So it just will be Q. And then we explode. We try to put a queen on the next row. So that will be row index plus one. And uh, we unchoose it if we cannot find uh, a valid uh, placement. We unchoose it. So this will be the dot. Okay. So that means we also need to write uh, is valid. Is valid. So that will be char. Oh, no, no, sorry. Board row index in the column index. As we check row by row, so we, we sh mm, do not need to check whether there is other queen on the same row. We need to check whether there is other queen on the same column, so which means we should check the previous row or rows. So for in the i uh, equal to, you know, the row index uh, minus one, row index minus one, i greater or equal than zero, i minus minus. So if the same column have a queen, if the i column index equal to a queen, a q, we just return false. We cannot place a queen here. Uh, and uh, we also need to check the two directions, which is the anti-diagonal. That means we go to preceding row and the uh, preceding row, this row, and we go to the preceding column, it's here, right? Check this place. So that will be the i equal to row index minus one, and j equal to column index minus one. And uh, i should uh, great or equal than zero, and j should great or equal than zero, because we minus it, uh, zero, so i minus minus, and j minus minus. So if board i j equal to a q, we return false. So uh, another direction, the preceding row and uh, the following column, right? Like if this a q, we will check this place and this place. So int i equal to row index minus one, j equal to col column index um, plus one and i great or equal than zero, and j less than board dot length, and uh, i minus minus j plus plus. So if board i j equal to q, we return false. Uh, otherwise, return true, this is a valid place. Okay. So now we still need to write this generate function. We return this list string generate. We will put this board, and uh, you know we need to return this list. So we call it list new array list. Uh, so actually, this is just a change this board to list a string. So the same column will become to a string. So for every row in the board, we will get a string builder. String builder. 
the for every chart in the row. The SV will append this C. And we add this string builder to string to the list. And finally we return this list. Okay, so let's fill this help function. There will be bold in the result. And row index start from zero. Let's check whether they have some mistakes. Where is the string builder? Let's add the string, yeah, it's false. Row index. Let's add general bold return. Mm, add it. 